guys, it's hot out. I know it's only March, but I'm sweating like a friggin' pig. But anyway, I got a, uh, I got my laser tube out from uh, my laser replacement. You can see the link here if you want to know how to replace the laser tube. But I wanted to take this time to um, show you the hidden mirror that everyone's always talking about in the laser tube, and I'll show you how to clean it. So first thing I want to do is uh, show you where it's at. So we have our laser tube out. I'm going to take you off the tripod, guys. Don't get dizzy. I'm getting tired of that joke. I might stop saying it. But anyways, here you go. Okay, this is a standard 80-watt uh, Reese tube. Good quality thing. from Ra I got it from Rabbit Laser USA. But you can get these up on Amazon, wherever. It doesn't matter. So this is an 80-watt tube. And right here, this is where you connect your negative terminal. And your first mirror would sit right here on an angle. So inside this little hole, you'll see your mirror. So that mirror right there needs to get cleaned when you're on your last leg of the tube. Don't clean that all the time. But if you think your laser tube is bad, you might want to consider cleaning this. And I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, this is the best shot I can get of this with being able to show you that haze. You should be able to see the haze inside the tube right here. Believe it or not, this tube's bad, by the way, so I might abuse it a little bit. But believe it or not, that haze is not supposed to be there. That needs to be cleaned off. Um, don't clean this all the time, but say six months down the road, you start getting a power droppage, everything's cleaned in line. You may want to consider cleaning this right here before you change out your tube or your power supply or try, before you try to figure that out. So what you need is a Q-tip and some denatured alcohol. Okay. So here comes the magic. So we got our denatured alcohol, which I'm pouring into a cap right now, and my clean, fresh Q-tip that's never been used on anything. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put this in, in here on the actual mirror, start in the middle, work circular motions, which is really hard to do. I'm doing this through the camera, and move it around to the outside. You actually feel it getting cleaner. And then let's go ahead and dry it off with the dry side of the Q-tip. Now the first thing you want to do right now after you're done drying it, take this Q-tip, throw it in the trash. Now let's look. You can actually see some alcohol haze on there. The mark hasn't quite gone away. I'm going to go ahead and blow off the uh, alcohol haze right here. The mark has not gone away. Let's go ahead and try this one more time here. Mark's got a, it's a little better. Let's clean it again. Brand new Q-tip. More denatured alcohol. Get on there and scrub that mark off. Now, if that mark doesn't come off, your mirror is bad inside of your uh, laser tube here. And this, this mirror, as far as I know, is not replaceable. So you know what that means. So we got that clean. Dry off the alcohol. It's a lot harder to do inside of the machine, but anyways, dry. All right, wait for that to focus. Wow. I think the mark's gone, but we still got some alcohol on there. And my phone is going off like crazy, man. You guys on YouTube just won't leave me alone. I'm so famous. I got not notice in the uh, hardware store the other day, the first time ever. I'm getting so popular. He picked me out of a crowd. It was really nice. I haven't seen my brother and sister in a long time. Alright, that should be dry now. How's that look, guys? That is what it should look like. Wow, that came clean. Now, I, this tube is actually dead. Look at this. Look, yeah, you guys can see me moving around. That's my hands moving around. That's what it's supposed to look like, guys. That's what you want it to look like when it's all cleaned up. Now, this tube has lost power. It's got a different problem. The helium inside of it's getting all burned up, so it's just not as powerful as I'd like it. And that's really it. I've never been able to see a good photo of that, of um, a good clean job of the fourth mirror in your laser, which a lot of people don't even know exists. You can actually revamp and get more use out of your laser tube um, by cleaning that mirror off. But don't do it all the time, because if you scratch it, like I said, it's not replaceable like all the other mirrors in the machine. But if you think your laser tube's done anyways, Go ahead and clean it off. Take a look at it. You will not be able to see that haze, by the way. You will not be able to see that haze without a camera. You need to use your, uh, I use my real skinny phone here. 
and I stick it inside between the mirror and focus it on there and see if I can see it. Because you, you can't see that haze unless it's through a lens for some reason. I, I can't see it by the eye. At least I can't. Maybe I'm just half blind or my glasses or something. But if you look at it through a camera, which a smartphone works just fine, and I can actually show you some photos of ones I've cleaned because I've thought about doing this video for a while. But anyways, if you guys... Um, do this and you get more power out of your laser tube, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It's okay. You can wait and verify if this information is good before you subscribe. That's perfectly fine by me. But if you could subscribe to that, I'd absolutely appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up right in the comment box below if you guys use this trick and it worked. Because it will. And it will save you thousands of dollars. Because this tube right here cost me 850 bucks. And if I got to clean it off, get three more months out of my tube, just for the little denatured alcohol, that'd be awesome. Alright, I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.